Good morning, people. What's up guys, morning. Right, so I've uh, just drove to work and uh, I've discovered a lovely rattling sound coming out of my exhaust. Um, my guess is, is um, I've got a bypass valve on it. Uh, that it's either hit something, come loose. So I'm going to try and investigate that later on. But we shall see. Okay, so I've actually just jacked the car up and uh, just discovered um, that I must have hit something quite significant because the bypass valve isn't actually there anymore. Ripped straight off. Wonderful. So, I've got a spare and uh, I'll just change it out. So I managed to get it off the car, as you can see, there's no motor, completely gone. Not carbon build up not. So uh, I'll just try and rectify that. Right, so uh, my, the valve I've actually got doesn't fit. So what, what I've had to do is to keep it closed, is to just drill a hole and tap a little bolt into it for now, because it's a bit loud for daily use really. Um, so that should hold it for now, until I get a new one. So, so yeah, on my way home, I actually made a little pit stop to uh, Fast Lane, um, just to get a new uh, bypass valve. And uh, they really hooked me up. So in this box, what you've got is, you've got the actual valve. Just try and do this one-handed. So you've got your actual valve, butterfly valve, whatever it's called. Uh, and all the electronics for it, V-band clamps, gaskets, a few cables, jiggy. Uh, this is your module, it is wireless, uh, a few nuts and bolts, outlet tube, And uh, I don't know why they actually gave me this bit, because I didn't actually need it, because it's already on the car. So currently the uh, the module power cable has actually got a cigarette lighter attached to it. So what I have to do is I have to splice into that and con put some connections on there so I can go straight to the battery. So unfortunately I don't have a garage to work in, so it's dark outside right now. Um, so putting all this into the car will uh, have to be done tomorrow so I'll catch up with you then sweet